waiting for the results that are being calculated out there. Uh, but while that is being done, uh, I think we must tell you more about InfoBalt because I have an assumption that not that many of you know what InfoBalt is doing. You heard about it. It's been the name has been around for you know, more than 20 years. But okay, what what's going on beneath that name? So let's start. Currently, InfoBalt unites over 140 ICT industry companies that are specializing in software development, telecommunications, data centers, and electronics wholesale. Just to get the grasp of how how large our membership base is, last year our members generated 1.2 billion euros in revenue and are currently employing nearly 10,000 people in the sector. So with all these companies, um, we established a new mission starting uh, at the end of last year. And uh, the first part of it reads to gather a community of experts developing the ICT policy. So basically, the, we are very well involved, very much involved in the helping our government to shape the policy to advance our country in the direction that would help us all prosper. And for that reason, we have another part to our mission that is to develop Lithuanian ICT industry on a global scale. That is, we need to get out of our own backyards. We're doing a great job over here, but we have a whole world to conquer. And I believe that what we're doing here today, the startup session, pitching ideas that are supposed to be competitive on a global scale, this is where we're heading. We're heading to, to conquer the global world. Um, for the next few years, uh, we have an ambition to establish an image of Lithuania as a globalized leader. Uh, we can pick a sector, maybe not every sector that we can be a leader in, but one specific. And if we can achieve that and be recognized globally for it, that would be an achievement right away. And we have a few years to do it. That's our ambition. Our member base has a widespread of interests uh, in terms of technology, in terms of different deals. Uh, and strategies that they want to achieve. And I tried to put down some of them on the screen just so you get a grasp of what is happening within InfoBalt and what are we thinking about every day. Starting from like naval cybersecurity solutions, going to game dev, to e-government solutions, financial technology, e-health, all of those are kind of bubbling inside InfoBalt daily. Companies are meeting companies, they're trying to set up the cooperation scenes and uh, for that, uh, for that to actually grow um, and achieve like a global recognition, we have a whole model set out, set up. And uh, first one, it starts with know-how building. Then we move to a demo release, preparation for exports, and then sales. In every category of this, startups are very important for us. We need to build new know-how together with the ICT companies that, are, that have been in the industry for quite a while. And startups come in, they share their ideas, they find a cooperation model, we build something new. We work together to set up a demo, find a, find a client, a major client perhaps in Lithuania, uh, showcase, uh, showcase what we achieved, set up all the information and communication strategy for exports, and then achieve sales. We do take, uh, we do take groups of companies uh, to foreign countries, set up B2B meetings. Uh, we go to various trade shows whenever we have a product, whenever we have a service that we want to sell. That's what InfoBalt is doing. So all of you that have been presenting here today, we believe you're a big part of the success that we're trying to achieve over here. And that's why we keep on inviting you uh, to join us. Um, just to be more precise you know what's out there for you in, within InfoBalt, um, we believe we can, we are, and we are going to be a more successful contact point for reaching out to established businesses. So if you're a startup and you want to kind of hook up with an established ICT company, or not only ICT company, we're looking beyond to different sectors like energy, logistics, and stuff like that, um, that do need our solutions. We want to be the place where you can come and find those connections. We've been in the market for many years do have those connections and we want to utilize them together with you. Um, you can come uh, meet colleagues, meet other startups with an info vault. We have two of our partners, Quantum Group and Devs. They're both startups. They joined in 
Cobalt not too long ago, uh, and they, they've been enjoying uh, InfoVault, I believe, very much. Uh, look at them smiling right there. Uh, so share, learn, meet, uh, boost your ideas and their execution. We do have tools um, that have been in practice within the industry uh, that could be applied to your cases. Um, you can achieve goals together with strong partners. That's why we have jury from various IT companies, law firms, um, venture capital firms. Uh, that's just the beginning. And just find relevant information. We, we would like to be a source of a specific, sector-specific information for you to come to. Um, while this is the third startup session that InfoVault has organized, um, this uh, sort of just marks a beginning of a new era within InfoVault Association, where we perceive that the next stages will be a specialized startup sessions uh, for startups to come and meet corporate partners, uh, whereas you've seen uh, some topics like uh, e-government, e-logistics, e-health, most likely we'll try to narrow it down to those kind of alleys and, and set up a pipeline where startups that think that they fit one of these profiles would come and meet with the companies that want to work within the sector and achieve something magnificent. So look up for, uh, uh, look up for news on our Facebook page, on our website, follow us, we're there, um, and um, the news will come. It's just a matter of time, and we, will, we won't take too long. So if anything, my contacts are there. And they're a little bit pushy, but it's in, in, anyways. You can find me on Facebook, and uh, come join. Thank you very much. <laughs>